Here's the third and last thing I want to share with you today. Number three, the corner man equips you to win the battle. So there's some things in the corner that you're going to need as a corner man to help out your boxer. And that's one of them is the spit bucket. You saw it in this clip, right? I'm not asking you to spit in here, but I got, I got a spit bucket for you. Because when you come to the corner, sometimes you're going to come to the corner bleeding. And you got to spit out some things, right? Can I, can I help you with something, church? Let, let me tell you what is not your spit bucket. Your wife is not your spit bucket. Your husband is not your spit bucket. Your kids are not your spit bucket. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are not your spit buckets. When somebody airs their drama out on Facebook, I wish I could push like a thousand eye roll emojis. Your bestie is not your spit bucket. You want to know what your spit bucket is? It's the altar. You may not like this, but it's what you need to hear today. And as your corner man, I'm here to let you know you've got to stop whining and complaining and just trying to keep it real with everyone who can't do anything about your problem. It's time that you get yourself to the altar and in prayer and take your issues to God for he's the one who can fix your problem. Do what David said. I pour my complaints out to the Lord. I take my burdens to the Lord. God gave you a spit bucket and it's called the altar. It's called prayer. And as you pour out your heart, you pour out your frustrations, you pour out your hurts and your doubts, you do it at what's called the altar. But you've got to learn to pour it out. Why is it important that you pour it out on the altar? Because you've got to allow something to be poured back into you. So I'm here to, as your corner man, to help you get to the, to the water. Somebody say the water. water. <laughs> it's important that you spit out so that you can make some room for the water of the Holy Spirit to be poured back into you. God's saying if you'll spit it out, I'll pour it back in and together we'll win this battle. Come on, somebody say a big amen. amen. Something else that the corner man has, and that's a razor. Because sometimes he's got to cut you. <laughs> I ain't going to cut you today. But the importance of having this razor as a corner man is because sometimes you're, go you're going to get it coming to you and around and, and your eyes may get a little swollen and you can't see. You can't see where the enemy's throwing punches and so sometimes good corner men will have to, to cut you open to let that fluid and that water bleed out. Why? So you can get your vision back. Because of the swelling from the blows and the punches of the enemy you can't see and and now you're, you're, you're confused and you're frustrated because you don't know when when you're getting hit and so he'll cut you to release that blood so you'll come to this corner called the church and this corner man brings you God's word and that word sometimes cuts you Hebrews 4 12 for the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow. And it is the discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. That's why sometimes I've got to cut you. The word that comes straight from God, sometimes it hurts. But it has to happen. So you can get your vision back. It doesn't feel good to get hurt, but it's for your good. You've got to be able to see again, and that word will cut you. You know what I'm talking about? It's the days when you feel like your toes are getting stepped on, and you start getting THS, the tight hiney syndrome, and you don't like what I'm saying, but it's truth, and you know it. It's, it's those times when the word is spoken, and, and you get kind of mad because it conflicts your lifestyle. It hurts, but it's truth. So sometimes you gotta get you gotta get cut, but then but then that corner man will also have something. I won't I won't put it what can I just I won't put it on you just a little bit. He'll have some special ointment because sometimes your boxer's bleeding from the blows of the enemy, and so he'll see the cut, he'll rub that ointment in that cut, 
And what happens is it's special ointment that causes the bleeding to stop. <laughs> Here's what I'm telling you. Sometimes in life you, you have a bad round or maybe some bad rounds and you come in here wounded from the enemy. And see, sometimes the word that's spoken from this pulpit cuts you to help you get your vision back, but then there are times that the bleeding won't stop, that you've been out in the world and been taking punch after punch, and if we don't do something, you're going to bleed out. So God anoints the corner man to rub some special ointment on your wound, and he rubs it in that cut to stop the bleeding so you can win the next round, and when the corner placed that ointment on you, the bleeding stops. And then there's something else. You allergic to Vaseline? (laughs) Not only does he have ointment, but he's got, I got a towel, don't worry. He's got some Vaseline. (laughs) This is for all them days I went home from the gym, so tired and sore. (laughs) Go put that Vaseline. Kelly, you're supposed to be filming this. <laughs> but you, you got to understand why they do the Vaseline on them. It's not so that he'll look extra shiny. No. But what happens is the last round when the enemy stuck one on him, boom. This round when the Vaseline's on there, bow. Boom. Slides right off of him. You can wipe that off. Here, check, check this out. What stuck last week will slide right off of you this week. You may have won the last round, devil, but this next round belongs to the Lord. You're about to be defeated. What hit me hard this past week is going to slide right off of me this week. Real quick, there's one other thing. There's one other thing that the the corner man has. He has the towel. If you know anything about this towel... If you ever see a corner man throw in the towel, it's where they get that expression. It means, hey, we give up. We quit. My man's man's taken beating long enough. There's nothing else that he can do to win this battle. Hey, there's one aspect of the corner man that I will never be like. You're never going to see me throw in the towel on your life. But I'm always going to be here in your corner telling you, hey, Scooter, you can make it. You're greater than this. You're stronger than this. I know the enemy is trying to take you out, but this next round, it belongs to the Lord, and you're going to be victorious. I'm never going to throw in this towel. Oh, I've come today to tell somebody you're going to make it. You're heading out in this next round wiser. You're stronger than you think you are. You may have had a bad round, but this is a new day. Don't quit. You're going to win this thing. Hey, but, but I'm afraid. Get out there! You got this! But pastor, I don't, I don't have anybody in my corner. Yes, you do. I'm in your corner. And more importantly, Jesus Christ is in your corner. And you've got a house full of people in your corner in this church. You can do this. And because of that, we're stronger together. You may have lost the last round, but that round is over. You're winning the next one. Oh, I prophesy that over your life today. The thing that's been coming against you in your life is defeated in the name of Jesus. You are victorious today. I don't know who I'm talking to. I feel in my heart I'm talking to this guy right here. I asked him, I said, can I use you? In my illustration, he said, yeah. I told him, I said, I really feel like this word's for you. I'm not here to embarrass you, dude. (laughs) But I want you to know today, Scooter, you're an overcomer. You're an overcomer. You got people in your corner. But I know I'm talking. I know I know I'm talking to so many more. 
but you've been in a battle. And sometimes you've felt like quitting it. But God brought me here today to let you know you're not quitting. You may have had a bad round or a couple bad rounds. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got this. You get yourself right back out there and you will be victorious. Weapons will be formed against you. The enemy will try to stop you. But nothing he throws at you will ever prevail. All over this house, if this message was for you, can you just lift up those hands right now? And from your heart and from your mouth, can you just simply say, Lord, I need you? Come on. Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. God, I need your peace. I need your strength. I need your joy. I need your comfort. I can't do this without you. I've been so frustrated. The enemy's been knocking me punch after punch after punch. And I just feel like I can't make it anymore. God, will you, will you help me stay in this corner called the church? And will you allow some corner people in my life to speak truth into me and, and equip me with what I need to go back out in the round and win this time? God, I need you. Come on, from your heart. Come on, sing it out. Sing it out. I will put my trust in you alone. And I will not be Come on, come on, come on, sing it out. And I will build my life upon your If that, was, if that was for you, just lift up those hands. Come on. Father, you see every hand, every heart, every life. You know every situation today. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to put our focus and our trust and our hope in you today. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would send the comforter the power of your Holy Spirit to fill their hearts and their minds. Give them the peace that passes all understanding. God, may they hold tight to Philippians 4, 13 that says we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. That in Romans chapter 8, we are declared overcomers today in the name of Jesus. That Revelation says by the, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies, we are made overcomers today. So God, we are victorious because of you. And I pray that you would strengthen every heart every life so they can step back out into the next round and win this one in the name of Jesus. Come on, give God some praise in this house today.